Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. I have cat fur all over me. It's Lori, and yes, I just did my unboxing of the cat box. So I have cat fur all over me and the boys' toys. We don't need that. But I did make some tea in my catitude cup. Mmm. This is Earl Grey. I love Earl Grey. I got this in Scotland actually, brought it back. I'm just finishing the last of it up. Mm. And it's twinings. But I loved the tea when I was in Scotland and England and France. I drank tea for <laughs> the whole time I was there. All right, but that's not what this video was about. I got some friend mail and I wanted to share it with you and tell you again how thoughtful that is and how much I appreciate each and every one of you. So first and foremost, this didn't come in the mail, I just picked it up, but it's from my friend Heidi, and they were in North Carolina, and there's a lot of potters down there, and this is, it's a pottery, it's ceramic. It was made to look like a paper plate, and I was reading the back, I can eat on this, it's dishwasher safe, and I love bicycles. How awesome is that? I love it, I cannot wait. I'm not gonna eat on it, I'm gonna get a plant, a uh, plant stand? No, a plate stand, and put it in my kitchen. So I thought that was awesome and I love that it's pottery and it's from 180 degrees pottery studio. I think it's what it's called. Yeah. Awesome. So I got that. And then I got a lovely card from, from Barb. Look at that with all the candies on it. Isn't that beautiful? And she sent me from catloversdecals.com. And this is great. It's a nice hard card so you can use it to put the decal on your card and the directions on the back. And it says, all I need is love and a cat. I can't wait to stick this on my car. So she sent me that and it was so thoughtful for Valentine's Day and I appreciate it so much. And then from Michelle, she sent me something. I'm not gonna show you her note because that's to me, but can we look at this note paper? <laughs> I love gnomes. So she sent me this package and I'm super excited. She found the mustard colored pot uh, macrame uh, plant holders. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out. Got to put a pot in there. But she sent me two of them. I'm so excited because I haven't found them yet at my stores and I cannot wait to find a place. And if you see behind me, it matches my decor in my living room. So I need to figure out a place in here to hang the plants. So I love that. And they supposedly come in this color, a green, a black. I don't know if a natural, I didn't see anybody haul the natural, but this green is everything to me. <laughs> this gold is everything to me. I love it so much. And thank you, Michelle. I really appreciate it. And then from Lisa, look at that card. Isn't that so pretty? I just love Valentine's Day. The colors are so pretty. She sent me this awesome pen with a kitty cat with angels on it. Isn't that amazing? And a notepad. And it's magnetic, so I can stick it on my fridge. And it has little kitties. And it says, beautiful and cuddly. And it's even wearing a knitted sweater. Like, how awesome is that? And I can knit my cats a sweater, but I don't think they would appreciate it. And she found the lemon towels. How exciting is that? Because I have been on the hunt for these for summertime to hang in my kitchen. So I'm super excited to have those. Thank you so much. And wait till you see these that I'm going to put up right now for Valentine's Day. Oh, these kitchen towels or hand towels, I guess. Yeah, they're any kind of towel. All you need is love and a cat. And then on this side, it's an orange kitty with the rose collar. How awesome is that? Guys, you are just the most amazing people. Um, and I wanted to bring up something while we're here together. After I say thank you wholeheartedly for the lovely gifts. I love them and will cherish them always. I was thinking, y'all tell me about all your wonderful pets and you get to see mine, but I don't get to see yours. So what I was thinking in the Dropbox below, email, ooh, email me a picture of your pet and I can make a video compilation of all the kitties and where they're from or dogs or her hamsters or gerbils or snakes. I'll put a snake if you have one because you love your snake. I'm afraid of them, but you love them, or horses, or guinea pigs, or your stuffed animal, or your, not your kid, because I don't want to put pictures of children, 
like real children. But fur children. Let's do all the fur children. Um, so send them to me. I'll announce it in a couple videos. And once I get enough, I can make, put a picture uh, to music and make like a video of all of our pets. I thought that would be so fun. So if you tell me their name and where you're from, then I will collect all of the pictures together and we'll make a video. And I'll put some of Dubby and Alex. Um, I know some people get confused. His name is Wellington, but we call him Dub, like D-U-B, W. He's always just been Dub. And Sarah calls him Dub Stein or Baby Kitty. But mostly he's just Dub, unless he's in trouble. And then he's Wellington. And Alex, Alex came as Alex. His full name, I changed to Alexander, just for the vets. And, you know, when he's in trouble, he's Alexander. No. But most days he's my little Alex baby and he just came with that name and so he answers to it. So we left him alone. I didn't want to confuse him even more. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed my friend mail and thank you so much again, everybody. I really appreciate it and you have a wonderful day. Bye.